I enjoyed it at times, and I didn't enjoy it whole hog. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, I mean, it was almost like at times I'd have to remind myself, like, this is an amazing experience that most people don't get to have in their careers. Take some time to appreciate what you have. And then I would, sort of. But it's hard to do that in theory. Like, most of it was just like, I don't know, like, I love so much creating and performing live and getting that reaction and then everything else feels like a slight dilution of that and so creating the picnic face show like from the beginning it was like a combination of the stress of trying to get it done and the worry that it wouldn't happen and then when it went that worry went away but it was the stress of getting it done and the worry that it would be terrible right and so it was just like a new chunk of stress and worry that followed me through it I don't know it was crazy yeah like it was it was a there was a lot of people on set but it was so small budget that every day we were like what do we have to cut today <laughs> and like how many takes can we get before we have to run to our next location and so there was a certain sense of like when we made sketch videos for the internet we would take all day and we'd have a crew of like volunteers from Andy's film school who would be laughing and ruining takes right. but that felt amazing right. so it was like no 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 that worked don't worry about laughing like <laughs> I can do that again yeah. now I know that worked whereas on a film set it's sort of like everyone's just like uh, just fucking go <laughs> go and the ADs are screaming at everyone so like so much of it was cool but a lot of it was cool like I think I'm going to think back on it and be like that was really cool but in the moment, a lot of it was just like from conception to ending. With periods of joy, there came just like huge stretches of terror <laughs> and stress.